come with that dreary nine-to-five husband. The truth is, I don't blame him. I don't blame them. Well, that's a jolly understanding of you. I think, but uh, you know what the others say. Poor old Sybil. It's her only way of hanging on to it. They envy me. Mark's not only handsome, he's interesting. And those fading little bitches, well, gather ye other women's husbands while ye may. That's their philosophy. But weren't you the same, love, at our age? Mark tells me all about you afterwards. Bloody cruel of him. Well, our one's the same as another. He always comes back to me. <laughs> to reality. Hmm. But isn't it hateful for you to be something of a mother image to him? But darling, no marriage is what it appears to be. Take the Harrises, for instance. He would only have married her for her money, and I'd find that so humiliating, wouldn't you? You and Susan must come to dinner, Sue. Perhaps Mark and Sybil will come along, too. Smashing idea. Super. Very evening. Well, as this is your first party meeting, I recommend you should be more seen than heard, understand? Excuse me for butting in, but uh, Arthur here is worried about the canal side item. Oh, I don't think it's right. No, Arthur, stop looking as if you've wet your britches. The council flats are still on our program, but why has it got to be the canal side? We're given our word. Now, why can't you trust your chairman to do the best he can for everyone concerned? I'm not going to vote blindly. Why can't you be like Joseph here? Joseph doesn't rock the boat. If I did, it might sink. Now, come on, Arthur. <laughs> two points to make up. Well, now here is Wally's answer. Francis and Howard Chapman in the Paso Doble. <laughs> Next Friday. Well, why didn't you let me know? You'd only have tried to stop me, Joe. Look, if you're serious about starting all over again, you can't do things by half measures. Come on, time to get back. Here's again. Yes, I must. Why so soon? I'm not running away. The job I've been waiting for in London has fallen vacant, that's all. I don't know what I'd do if we couldn't see each other again. But how many times has it been? And I'm not counting that damned election party either, watching you with her making polite conversation just once a week in my flat. And then like thieves. A wham bam, thank you, ma'am, in the back of the car. It's the first time. And the last. You'll find
find somebody else in London and forget me. That depends on you, doesn't it? I mean, if you think I'm going to live like a nun for a year or two while you vacillate about a divorce, no? But don't you understand? I need you. If you need me, you'll come to London. been studying your report, young Mr. Heatherset and I. But that report is confidential. Ralph doesn't work for us. There's going to be a merger with Heatherset. We'll move in with the times, Joe. Um, what about my report? Well, are you piece it was too, if I have to say so myself. The merger makes it useless. You've made a fool out of me. Joe! Joe! I think I'd best toddle. Well, one thing, old man. I'd like to think we're all going to stroke together on the good ship Brown and Heather set. I worked my guts out over that report. You let me go on hoping all this time. You said you'd rather have me on the board than a bleeding Heather set. That was the truth. But what I'd rather have and what's possible... You shuffled me off to London, got me out of the way. We shall be crying in a minute if we don't take care. Now, get the muck out of your ears and listen. As you've noticed, and I'm well aware with what satisfaction you've noticed, my health's not been too good lately. It's time for me to consider your wife and children. Also, I'm badly in need of fresh capital for new equipment. No matter what our differences, I've always felt one thing. That nobody knew the bull trade like A.Z. Brown, but you're past it. Merging with Heather said is a mistake. Merging with him? I'm bloody absorbing him. Of course, I like to put up with a board full of dummies, but there's still only going to be one boss here. Well, as long as I'm here, there'll always be a place for you. I promise you that. I'm not exactly in need of a handout. Not yet. You let me know what sort of a place. And I'll think about it. You tried. You tried hard, Joe. Party accepted as mere coincidence that George Aisgill of Aisgill Projects is on the Housing Committee. Yeah. We demand a recorded vote on this question. Yeah. Now, any further questions? Any comments? Any amendments? My Lord Mayor. I assume that as a newly elected... Speak up, I assume that as a newly elected Conservative councillor, I am expected to endorse what Mr. Grapham has called the most naked kind of profiteering. <laughs> I further assume that I am expected to hold to the Tory...